Okay, so you've probably watched most of the other videos on how to watch TV or, you know, movies online with your friends. And you're wondering how this video is any different. Well, that's what I'm here for. That's what Vamsi is here to do. Well, most of the services online and other extensions usually work with popular streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, what have you. But in this video, I'll show you a service called Metastream. With this one, all you have to do is have a link or the URL video link and then you can watch it with anyone online, be it your friend, coworker, and what have you. Let me show you how. Download the extension for Firefox or Chrome, and you'll find the link for both of them in the description below, by the way. Metastream is completely free. So once you've installed that, navigate to the link, or click on the Metastream Chrome extension logo, and then open the Metastream's portal. Now, type in a display name and click Get Started. Click Start Session on the next screen. Next, you need to invite your friends. To do so, just click on the Invite button on the left and get a link to share, and then click Copy and then send it to your friends. Now in the same window, you can also make you know a session public, private, or even offline, and then change the number of users that are allowed. You can have an unlimited number of users, but Metastream works best if you've only got a max of like 50 users. So once you've done that, just close the window. Now, ask your friend to click on the link that you just shared, and when they join, you'll see a box on the left with your name and theirs. You'll have to click on the green check mark by their name to let them in. To grant them permission though to add you know, videos and change playback, click on the three dots next to their name and then click toggle DJ. If you see a headphone symbol next to their name, it means they have access to a remote. Next, you need to add a video that you and your friends want to watch together. It can be any video on the internet as long as it has a URL. For example, I'll take this Crunchyroll video since it's relatively smaller compared to Netflix or Prime and it's a bit difficult to watch it with friends online. So click on the Add Media button in the center of the main screen and then you can paste the URL for the video in the bar either at the top or the bottom of the screen and then click Add to Session. You can also click the plus button to add movies and shows in a queue. So, you know, you can set up a list of things that you can watch together. Now play the video and it should play on both devices at the same time. If you want to watch the video in full screen, then click on the three vertical dots on the Metastream player at the bottom right corner and then choose open in pop-up. In that, choose the third option from the top. You have to tap on that open in pop-up again. And that's it. You can watch the video in full screen without any distractions. That said, not everything's going to be perfect, right? Like even Metastream has its cons. Because, you know, for example, say a lot of people might experience lag or delay because it's still in its beta version and it's not a full release yet. But it doesn't support webcam and audio chat like other services usually do, which is quite common nowadays. But maybe they'll add that in the future, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed. And it doesn't also support smartphones, which is crazy but they probably do it when it's more successful down the road. Either way, this is just another option that you can watch any video online with your friend. Any video, I mean, if you know, you know. Well, I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching, and if you're new here, click on that subscribe button, that way you get notified every time we put out a new video, and you can watch it for about five to 10 minutes and learn something new. I'll see you in the next one.